Hey, what's going on, Dividend Team? Are you interested in making money, investing in REITs, getting monthly checks from dividends on REITs, and you just don't know which ones to invest in? Well, today we're going to go over five different REITs, all paying monthly dividends, and I'm going to just, we're just going to talk about it. I'm going to show you what they're doing, show you the last three to five years of uh, stock growth, and we're going to go over their dividend payments. And let's go ahead and get in. Hey guys, it's Dividend Rick here. I appreciate you stopping by giving that thumbs up, guys. Make sure you subscribe. So the first one we have today, first one we have today is Wealth. W-E-L-L, -L, that's the ticker symbol, Wealth. So what does Well do? It's a REIT, but what does it do? Let's go to their page, as you can see here. They are a REIT and S&P 500 company headquartered in Toledo, Ohio, driving the transformation of healthcare infrastructure. So, Well Tower, already have it pulled up over here. Let's see what they do. They invest in, looks like old people uh, living, like for senior citizens. So, they invest in that. They get uh, nice money every month. Let's look over here. Let's see how much their dividends are. Let's see what the price is. Three-year chart. Let's go over that three-year chart. So a REIT, they have they usually have high dividends. Um, they're required by law to give back 90% of their gross profits to the investors. So they, that's why a lot of people like them because you get monthly checks. And it's, it's pretty good. They've been around for a very long time. Three-year growth is 36.55% on their uh, price point. Let's go down here to the dividends and check out some dividends. Annual dividend is 2.65%. They did have a drop in their dividend in between 2019 and 2020. Looks like 20 to 21 also. But as you can see, they're still paying pretty good dividends. Number two. Number two, PSA. Let's go over here to PSA. Public storage is a REIT. So this public storage REIT, let me close this dividend portion. Let's go look at their price chart. They're currently at, which you just seen, $279.13. Or 279 guys. 13 cents. Let's do a three year. They're up 26% in three years, guys. 26%. Let's go down to that dividend. Go down here to the dividend. 4.29% dividend. So you can see all their dividend payments. There it is, all the way back to 2016. Had a huge special $13 dividend payment. Regular is $8. Huge in 2022. You can see all this wonderful data here. You can look all this up on any any one of your investment platforms. It doesn't have to be Schwab. It could be Robinhood, Weeble, whatever, all the other, Fidelity. They're all going to give you the same amount of information on these REITs. So you're like, what's public storage? Well, here's public storage. You all seen them. You all know what they look like. There they are. That's a REIT. So if you invest in this company, that's what you're going to get. This right here. All right, let's go to let's go to number three, shall we? Number three is GMRE. What does GMRE do? GMRE, they're currently, let's look at their three year, guys. Look at their three year, they are down. Whoa, they're down 34% in three years. What's their five year? Yikes, I don't know if I'm gonna be invested in this one, even though they're only $8.88, Global Medical, Global Medical REIT, let's see what they do. They invest in doctor's offices, it looks like. Medicine, our investment strategy is nimble, tenacious, and disciplined. Um, I mean, they got huge monthly dividends, but you know, you could collect those dividends for a year or two, three years, five years. By the end of it, you might not have any price point on your ticker symbol. You can't sell it because a dollar, you paid eight dollars for it. Uh, is that really something you want to do? I mean, how far down is it going to drop? How far down is this going to drop? I don't know. I'm probably not going to invest in it. Let's look at their dividend. 8.96% dividend. 
So there's the prices, dividend 80 cents, 80 cents, 80 cents, 82 cents, 84 cents. But if the stock continues to drop, I mean, it's not going to be any good in the future when you try to sell it. Payout ratio, 344%, way too high. Way too high. Three-year growth, 1.6%. I don't, I don't know, guys. I'm probably not, probably not going to do that. I'm personally not going to do it, but if you want, just want a fat monthly dividend check from your REIT, I mean, you can do it. I'm probably not going to do it. And your taxes on your REITs when the next year when you go to pay your taxes, they're going to be taxed at regular income tax brackets. I learned that this year when I filed my taxes and that and I had to pay 32% uh, income tax rate on these REITs because... I'm a little bit higher income level, and that's what you got to do. So I don't think I'll be investing in that. Let's go to no, ooh, let's go to number four. Number four. We all know what number four is. There it is. The the income REIT. Everyone knows about O. Realty income. Now I do have some of this. Let's look at their three year. They're down thirteen point six seven percent. But I think they're probably going to come around. My personal opinion, they're probably going to come back around. So they're five year. Yikes, they're down 25%. But I think after we clear up a little bit of this, everyone working from home nonsense, I think it's going to clear that up. They're at $52.03. Let's look at that dividend. Let's look at that dividend. They've been around for a very long time, guys. Look at that dividend. Never miss a payment. There it is. Dividend yield, 5.88%. So you want to know what O does. What do they invest in? Who are their people? Company profile. Here we are. Here it is. This is what they invest in. Walgreens. Not just Walgreens, but a bunch of other companies. They got 15,450 properties under long-term net lease agreements. Home Depot buildings. Development, client services. I know it says on here somewhere of who the, all they have. Let's go to it. Our portfolio. Let's go to that portfolio. That's something we already read. That's where they're located, all the different places. CBS. That one doesn't have a picture, but you can go onto their website. It's uh, realtyincome.com and you can see exactly what they have on your own that's your research that you need to do before you invest in anything is to go find out what they do all, of, all on, on all your stocks all right let's go let's go back here i bought this probably when they're 60 62 dollars when i bought it and it's down like i'm down i i total i'm down we can go look at how much i'm down here in a second let's go look at it real quick I am currently down. My average price was, look at that, I'm down 600 bucks. Down 600 bucks, guys, but I'm gonna keep it and just let it buy more, buy more and more share. I'm not gonna pull my money out, just gonna continue to let it uh, buy more shares of O. I haven't bought any other realty income. All right, let's go, let's go look at ticker number five, DLR. So that digital realty brings companies and data together by delivering the full spectrum data center. So what do they do? Well, they're $142 first. Let's do it at $142. Let's go to three year. Yeah, they're up 5.6% in three years. Look at the five year, up 26% in five years. Their dividend, 3.53%. It's been growing. There it is. It's been growing, guys. All right, their growth rate is only 3.2%. It's not bad, right? You don't want to have a growth rate. Now, let's see. Digital Realty. There it is, where possibilities come together. Data centers. That's what they do. So they have these massive buildings with computing power. There's rows and rows of data storage, right? Because that's all it's doing is holding your data for you. It's not up in the clouds. It's not up there. It's down here. It's in a building. They're holding all this data in their buildings. They rent it out to huge corporations, hold all this data, and that's what they do. 
So, I mean, it's real simple. You need to go to the website yourself and then look and see if that's something you want to invest in. I can't tell you what to invest in. I personally don't own any of these. But if you want a monthly paycheck and you don't want your drip turned on, you just want to collect dividends monthly, that's what you can do. You can invest in this simple stuff. Pretty good dividend payout. Um, what else do we want to talk about? So that was five. That was five right there. That was the last one. I showed you their websites. I showed you what the dividends are. If you want to do it, if you want to invest for yourself, then that's what you can do. Thanks for stopping by. Make sure you give me a thumbs up, guys. Make sure you subscribe. Sure you appreciate it. I went over five. That's what I got. I'm, pro I, I'm probably not going to buy anymore. I got the O. It's up to you to invest in what you like. You don't have to do it if you don't want to do it. It's what it is. Appreciate it. Peace.